Coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Tyson Fury and AJ Anthony Joshua. All right, here he is, Anthony Joshua. This man needs no introduction in Germany and really across the United Kingdom where he has done crowds nearing 100,000 people. And a lot of people think tonight in the UFC, it's that big show, big stage experience that could pay dividends for Anthony Joshua. And if it's not that, it'll probably be his pure boxing skills that figure to be as good, if not better, than any man's in this heavyweight division. Well, just when you think you've seen it all, I submit to you a Tyson Fury octagon walk. He accomplished so many things in the boxing world. A lot of people reference that rematch with Deontay Wilder as his crowning achievement. But now is he biting off more than he can chew? You may have seen the videos online. He was training with Darren Till. No denying his gifts and his acumen on the feet. But the question beckons, if one of these elite heavyweights shoots at his legs, will Tyson Fury be able to stop the takedown? Big picture, though, as he smiles, as he walks to the octagon. Fear is not a factor for this man. The magnitude of the moment is not a factor for this man, and he's the ultimate competitor. I'm excited to watch him compete here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 237 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, Anthony Joshua. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. Standing six feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 257 pounds, Tyson Fury. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all times, obey my command at all times. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. Fight. All right, so here we go. It shall be done here and now as we get to the start of round one. Yes, between Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury. Incredible to think this never happened in a boxing realm, and it's going to happen in the UFC. We'll see if Joshua's technical prowess will be enough or if Fury can overwhelm him as he did so many opponents in the boxing setting over the years. Good punch. Potential fight enders here in the early going. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, 
and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? You I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab, but you realize that as MMA evolves, the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change, make him think you're going low and the right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Single collar tie now. Boom! Big jab. Oh, nice punch there by Josh. Not there. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Fury. Oh, man, he lands another punch to the head. All right, so a good job by Strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he lands. Great job. Oh! Oh, strong punch there by Anthony Joshua. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Five six. Back to the feet. Oh, big left hook there. Just misses there with the left. Oh, straight right. Oh. Final seconds of round one. You got him. How about those five minutes? So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Here we are, early round two. Effective punch there by the Gypsy King. Left hook counter there yet again. And oh, back the straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Circling towards the left now. Misses with that punch. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? How about that chin? Great hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Oh, big left. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Well, he was... Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Good at punches he's thrown all night. The punch that lands the field is the one that lands perfectly. That one landed perfect. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Back to the feet. Oh, he got him hurt bad. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. 
Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC in your CNY. I mean, how many can he take? Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Josh. Oh, some big punches raining down here. Picking the spots well and hasn't chosen to engage his opponent on the ground necessarily. Posturing up and, and making these shots count. I mean, why would he have so much success doing it in fighting in this exact same manner that's leading him to be ahead in the fight right now? Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish one more time. Just like that, he will get the victory. Do you believe it? This next round is underway. In the previous round, both fighters got rocked. Crowd going bananas. Big opportunity for both fighters. These are the types of fights that makes it so fun to sit right next to the octagon and call the action. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pretty... Whoa! Joshua's has got full mouth now, and that's gonna do it. Gentlemen, crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Here once more, first buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 36 seconds of round number three. By the winner, by knockout, Anthony Jones! All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.